Hello, it's Media Man Pete. I'm down at Barfield for today's match, uh, Rangers versus Gomasol and Cleckheaton. Our visitors are second from bottom in the league, so they are going to be desperate for points, so they're going to come out fighting. This is not going to be an easy game for us. Um, we're going to have to put in some effort. We're going to have to certainly match their work rate if we're going to get anything. We played them early on this season, and even though we won 3-0, it was a tough game, and I'm expecting exactly the same today. Our manager, Dan Marshall, has challenged the team to try and keep the winning run going, especially after last weekend's 4-3 sudden death victory against Harrogate Railway Athletic Reserves in the Whitworth Cup. But as I said, this is going to be a tough, tough test. Hopefully we can pass it. Hopefully we'll get the three points and we'll see if we can keep that on beat and run going. I'll see you all at half time. So if you guessed that those boots belong to Adam Carter, you are absolutely spot on. And the man is with me now. Right, first things first, Adam, why yeah. Adidas boots? Uh, quite a boring answer to be honest, Pete. Uh, <laughs> they fit really nicely, uh, so I always stick with what doesn't give me blisters, basically. Perfect, <laughs> absolutely perfect. Right then, what a match last week. I mean, two superb goals by you, rescued us basically, forced it into a penalty shootout. Which we won. I mean, what did you make of that match? Yeah, a bit mad. It had a bit of everything, didn't it? Uh, first half, I was hiding a bit, as Luke Jubery thankfully pointed out. So I felt like <laughs> I owed the team in the second half. So I came up with two goals and then nowhere to be seen when it came to penalties, because that is not my bag. Oh, that's fair enough, isn't it? I mean, you do what you do well, and that was sticky. I mean, they were two superb guys. I mean, which one was your favourite out of the two? Uh, I think the first goal, actually, because I thought the ball had got away from me so I just had to invent some form of martial art to uh, try and get the yeah. ball in the net. So I mean, I'll go with that one. The thing is as well is you only had so much of a small area of the goal to hit and you did it absolutely perfectly. Thanks, you must have been so happy with that one. Thanks mate. You should come around to my family and explain. <laughs> your compliments are very nice. Brilliant. <laughs> right then my friend, so which team is your team? Who do you support? Yeah, I support Leeds United so there's a theme in this team. There is. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so how did you get into sporting Leeds? Uh, through the family, so my dad took me to uh, Tottenham Road. I think when I was about four, we watched Tottenham, because my dad's a Tottenham fan, unfortunately. So we went to watch Leeds Tottenham and I fell in love with that team. Particularly Rod Wallace and Yeboa, remember them? Quality players. Just like. I bet your house was a bit of a, a nightmare then when Tottenham played Leeds. Yeah, it's, yeah, it hasn't happened recently for many years, but the last two years has been testing, yeah. Really? So I take it then you've been to Tottenham Road? I have been to Tottenham Road, yeah. It's, Sacred place. Best game you have seen at Ellen Road? I would say um, Leeds beat Liverpool 4 3 and Mark Viduka scored four goals. And I'm I was... a Liverpool fan. You have to remind me of that. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. I wish it would still be my answer if I knew that. Yeah, Viduka four goals. It was just a magical day. Love it. I, was say, I remember that match actually. I mean, Viduka, what a player he was. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Yeah. Right then, so. As a player, you played obviously in a few leagues higher than what we are now. So, what would be your favourite ground that you've played at? I played at obviously, of course, on this one. Uh, <laughs> Good answer. I'd say Sheffield FC. Um, I got to play there uh, once or twice, and that is a really nice surface and historical ground, I suppose. Yeah. It's the oldest club in the world, so. That's right. And I'll who are you played for? Uh, Hallam FC, which is home of the oldest football ground in the world. And those two have a derby, and we play the derby annually. So, yeah, I love that, Sheffield FC. History set here. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. So, can you remember any specifics about any of the matches? Not really. I'm probably having a go at the ref most of the time. <laughs> so, so, there's not much else there. I didn't score, unfortunately. Uh, but I don't think I got booked, which is a rarity, as you know. <laughs> I'm not saying a word. Right then, so what does Kirk Deaton Rangers as a club mean to you? Uh, it means quite a lot actually. I played um, all my junior football here so since the age of about five because I've got an older brother so I played in his team. And then my dad famously won a treble with the first team. Uh, no pressure Marsh to get those <laughs> to get those records equalised. But yeah, my, my dad and my family have played here so it's important. Who, out of all the players that you played with at Cody Rangers, who is the best that you've played with? Who's the best I've played with? 
not the lad that's putting his hand up now, this is James. <laughs> That'll be James. Yeah. Um, <laughs> in, terms of, in terms of raw talent, and I'll wait till he has passed, but uh, Luke dobry has got a lot of talent, and uh, you owe me a pint for that, mate, if you're watching. But he's got a lot of talent. Yeah. And he's a, he's a great leader as well, isn't he? I mean, like you said, he yeah. was one of the guys in the dressing room last weekend who was giving uh, verbals, but much needed yeah. verbals. He will dig you out, yeah, and it is necessary. Right then, my friend. So, Clegg Heaton, uh, a beggar band, Gomasol and Clegg Heaton, uh, formerly known as Hartshead, uh, years and years ago. Mm-hmm. On paper, like I said before, this match looks like it... Oh, hello, Mr B. Go away. <laughs> Um, <laughs> on paper, this match looks like it should be easy, but there's no easy games in this league at all. How are we going to approach this match? Uh, I think uh, to just take it as if we're playing top of the league. I think Marsh has challenged us to win, go on a run basically, and I think we're four games unbeaten, so let's just keep aiming for the next unbeaten, see how if we can take it unbeaten into double figures. So that's the competitiveness, just to go on, keep going on a run. I think we can. Brilliant. So, go on then, put you on the spot. Score prediction. Uh, I'm looking at John Tin, he doesn't look too confident. So, I was going to go 3-0, so I'll put in a 3-1, because, uh, yeah, he might be slightly distracted. He's more worried about the lines that are being marked out. So, 3-1. <laughs> Sorry, John Tin. Brilliant. Adam, absolutely fantastic. I knew it would be. Have Cheers, yourself mate. a great game, mate. Thank you, mate. <laughs> so I am with Roman Neal, arch goal scorer. Gonna bag to them um, absolutely positive it. But first of all, let's talk about that uh, epic 4-3 penalty, sudden death win, 2 all at half-time against Harrogate Railway in the Whitworth Cup last week. What did you make of the match? Uh, yeah, tough game, close game. Um, yeah, happy with the the, um, the outcome, of course. Uh, quite nervous once it went to penalties. Yes. Um, but yeah, put myself forward, scored, thank God. And uh, yeah, on to the final. Is that something that you purposely did actually say that I'm going to take a penalty? Yeah, I did, yeah. Did. You know, I think as a striker, you, you want to try to take one where, where you can. Take the pressure off of other lads. So how do you prepare for that kind of thing? Because do you think I'm going to go that side straight away or do you think I'm going to wait yeah. until the goalkeeper moves? How do you prepare Pick for that? Pick your side, stick to it. Yeah? Yeah, don't think about it too much. Fair enough. And it obviously worked because it was a damn good penalty as well. So going on to this match then. So it's Clecky Eaton, uh, it's Gomesol and Clecky Eaton, beg your pardon, formerly known as Hartshead. Down at the bottom of the league, and on paper you will think, well, it's possibly an easy tie, but there's no easy ties in this league at all. No, there's not, no. You know, it could be a bit of a banana skin. Um, though I do fancy us, to be honest. Yeah. You know, we've, we've done well the last couple of games, uh, found a bit of form, so, yeah, confident for today. What to love positivity, aren't you? So go on then, Roman. Score prediction for today. 2-0 uh, Deaton, Turley hat-trick. I <laughs> love it. Absolutely brilliant. Have an absolutely corking game, mate. Cheers.
So half time it is 2-0 to Rangers, um, it's not been an easy 2-0 though. We took an early lead through Roman Neal and then Adam Carter with another superb goal but we haven't been comfortable. The passing's not there yet, there's been a lot of uh, misplaced balls, uh, Gomesala uh, Goma making it very hard for us. We knew they would, we knew they would battle and they are doing. Uh, hopefully it will be a little more fluid, a bit more fluid the second half, we'll find out and I'll see you all at full time. Right, final score 3-1 to Rangers, um, not the prettiest of matches, it was a battle, we knew it would be, but we had enough in the tank, enough quality to get the job done. I say 2-0 at half time, uh, Gomesol pulled one back to make life uh, interesting and a bit difficult, but probably within about 2-3 minutes of them scoring, Roman Neal got his second of the match with an absolutely superb finish. Credit to the assist as well to Liam Dean for picking him out. Um, could have had more, really should have had more. Made life difficult for ourselves, didn't play at our fluid best, but did enough to get the job done and in the end that's what counts. Well done boys. So post-match 3-1 win, I'm with Josh Buckley here. What did you make to that match? I uh, thought we were comfortably the better side. I think we probably could have put a couple more past them yeah. to start with. Yeah. Uh, let them back into a little bit, a bit of a poor goal to concede, but all in all, decent, decent performance. Yeah. As I say, because I know that one of the things that Dan was saying at half time was to keep the clean sheet. How annoying is that for you, obviously, as a defender, that that happened? I mean, of course, I wasn't on the pitch when it happened. No. So, you know, if I had it been there, it would be a different story. But, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, crap goals concede and it can change the game, can't it? If you lose a goal, you know, they get a bit of momentum and it was a rubbish one to concede, but um, it happens. To be fair, though, the lads responded well because I think it was probably between three or four minutes after they scored that Rowe obviously hammered in his second, so. Yeah. Well, I think they were pushing a little bit, weren't they? They'd opened yeah. up, they were trying to chase the game. Um, gave us a little bit of space, and, you know, Ro, a top finisher as he is, capitalised on it. A couple of good goals, didn't they? Yeah, it was. it was. So, that now obviously continues the unbeaten run. How important is that, coming into the final you know, few games, that we keep that momentum going? Obviously, we've got a, another cup match and a cup final. Yeah, 100%. You know, if you uh, keep winning games, keep building momentum, confidence going into the game, 
And just from the other team, you know, you're playing as well, they look at it and you've got five wins on the spin coming into it. It's, um, it's a bit of a mentality thing, isn't it? So, yeah, we need to keep winning. Well, well done, mate. Absolutely brilliant. Cheers. Post-match with the hero of the game, it has to be said, two absolutely stunning goals. What did you make to that game? Yeah, good game. Uh, like I said before, I felt confident going into it. Um, yeah, I'm feeling it today. Good result. Which one of those two would you say was your favourite strike? Um, definitely the first one. Outside yeah. the box on the left. Yeah, well happy with that. Great. How important now is it that we keep this running, uh, winning run going? Yeah, well, very important, you know, we don't want to end up in a bit of a battle at the bottom of the table, so, yeah, we just keep winning and secure our position in the league. Brilliant, and congratulations on Man of the Match as well. Absolutely great game, mate. Cheers, Pete. Well done, buddy.